Hi everybody, this is Mark Michelot and I'm here with the world-renowned author Renee Allison Spina and we're at the hotel lobby and we just had an awesome leadership conference in Santa Barbara, California. We're going to talk a little bit with Renee and we're going to tap into her expertise about how the media is influencing the youth of America in mm, potentially making bad decisions about their sexual relationships. Renee, with your experience in the entertainment industry, what would you say media is doing to influence the decisions of the youth in America related to sex? We have a lot of TV shows, music videos that are putting out the wrong message. So they're saying that it's okay to have sex no matter how young you are. That it's what you should be doing because everybody else is doing it. And the truth is the complete opposite. It's, you know, Having sex, there's a lot of responsibility that comes with it, and the media wants you to believe the opposite. The Center for Disease Control right now estimates that 19 million people will contract a sexually transmitted infection this year, and out of that 19 million, almost half will be students between the age of 15 and 24. Wow, sobering numbers. Yeah. So what do you think is a real myth that we need to expose? I think one of the biggest myths right now is that there's no boundaries, that there's no limitations, that uh, you don't have to think about the big picture, that you only have to think about right now, right in this moment. And that's a setup for failure. You know, there's no adult that ever says, oh, gosh, I wish I would have had sex at an earlier age. You know, there's not this backspace button like you have on your computer keyboard where you can uh, delete bad choices that lead to really bad consequences. Wow. Okay. Yeah, very true. So, would you say, though, that it's primarily the media that's at fault? I wish I could blame it all on the media, yeah. but no, sure. I can't. The media and Hollywood have become the default educator because we have very poor parental guidance, poor role models. We don't have education in place for these students that is going to enlighten them on how to set themselves up for success. I mean, look at what happens. I mean, even just think about some of the young students that you know. They have a favorite athlete, a favorite singer, a favorite actor. They see something that that person does on TV in a make-believe situation and then they imitate it in real life. Mm. And that's a setup for failure. So, for, the, for any parents out in the audience that may be listening to this video, what advice would you give to them? I'd say that education is key. That if you don't speak up, the media is going to speak for you. And look, I have to mention here, abstinence-only education is not working. Mm. Again, the Center for Disease Control uh, stated that one out of three girls under the age of 20 will get pregnant this year. Wow. One wow. out of three. Wow, that's scary. Sad, isn't it? Yes. Isn't that really yes. sad? Yes. And instead of them focusing on school, education, career, they're focusing on, on starting a family, and they're just not ready for mm. it yet. Maturity-wise, okay. they're just not ready for it yet. Well, Renee, you have a pretty awesome college program, and we'd love to be able to spread this message to the college community. So how could people out there, administrators at their local colleges, maybe student leaders, deans of universities, how could they learn more about your program and contact you to learn how to bring you to their school? My program is called Understanding Sex and Love, and it's not just about sex. It's about self-worth, and it's about... Uh, dating, it's about respect, there's, there's, there's a bigger picture to it. And if you go to my website, uh, iambeforeido.com, there's booking information. Excellent. Well, this was Mark Michelot from Building Aspirations with Renee, Ellis, Renee Allison Spina. Great conversation. Go visit our website, I am before I do. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.